Hey guys, creating this video, I want to show this CRT TV that I'm going to be creating an eBay listing on. Um, but uh, also, I know that a lot of people like to shop around for CRTs so uh, for their consoles before they actually purchase one. So I'm hopeful that this will give you a way of, um, you know, kind of comparing different CRTs. Uh, before you actually end up making that purchase on eBay. So this one is, this CRT is a Memorex model number, model number MT1134. Remote comes with this unit. Um, of course you got your controls along the bottom, but the most important thing um, to note when you're buying a CRT TV is look at the inputs. Uh, of course, the you know this one doesn't come with the original antenna, but that would do you no good anyway, because the government changed how the signals, um, their digital signals now I believe, and um, the old antennas wouldn't do any good. So um, you know uh, if you're shopping around for one and and one versus the other doesn't have the original antenna, unless you're looking for more of a display model I wouldn't concern myself too much for that the one thing you do however want to pay attention to is your inputs so on this one you have your AV inputs on the front it is the yellow white um, ports and most of them uh, you know the the newer ones will have these inputs the older ones will only have the coaxial input so if you look at the back of the TV, here's your coaxial input. So, if you were hooking this up on your retro, uh, your retro um, Atari 2600, uh, you know you would use this port. Uh, the if you have the RF adapter on an original NES, you could also hook it to this. But um, you know, when you get to uh, newer generations, if say you wanted to use, I believe uh, PlayStation 2 has some light guns. If you wanted to use that on your, say, your PlayStation 2, um, you would have to have some type of an adapter to, if your TV only had that. That's one of the good things about having those ports on the front. Uh, one thing to note here, this one does have a couple of sticky pads and Velcro. I left them on there and the reason why that was is you would never lose your remote, you know, misplace it. Uh, so you just stick it to the back of your TV. Now, of course this one uh, it's kind of worn off over time so it doesn't stick anymore but you can see the model number is right here on the TV. So, um, moving on I'm gonna go ahead and turn the TV on. And you can see it's in set up for the auxiliary port. So um, I'm going to plug in my original NES. And what we're going to do is yellow to yellow, red to white. And we'll go ahead and turn power on. So this is the kind of quality of the color you're going to be looking at. Of course, you can volume up from the remote. Um, you see these, you see these lines that are going down. That's you won't see that when you actually purchase the TV. Of course, most people know this that are in the retro gaming community. But if you're new to it, um, I apologize. I'm going to go over it again. What you're seeing is the difference in between the shutter speed of my phone and the shutter speed uh, and the the um how the tv sends those signals i you know i i'm not an expert on that i just know that um if i adjusted the shutter speed on my camera those wouldn't show up i don't know how to do that and so um I, you're gonna see those lines on mine uh, so the lines that are going like this and the lines that go like that you will not actually see on any TV. So when you look at most of the pictures, unless somebody has adjusted that um, on their camera, this is how it's going to be. So 
First thing I'm gonna, the original NES on this is not, is not gonna be included in this listing. I've just got this um, 8 bit dough wireless controller, so I'm gonna embarrass myself by playing this. I just want you to get an idea of the color and how it performs. Um, I use this unit because everybody's got, everybody has a lot of nostalgia for the original NES, but I didn't have one. I had an Atari 2600, and so I could play some Atari 2600 games and do pretty well, but I never had one of these systems growing up. Um, the closest thing I got was um, my cousin had one of these. Oh, come on. Um, and I played Duck Hunt. So I really didn't play this game, Super Mario, until I was an adult. Okay, so we'll go ahead and restart it because I think that if you're wanting to get a CRT for your retro system, um, most likely, well, I say that, um, a lot of people like the scan lines, you can see them, uh, and quite frankly, the CRTs make these older games look great, um, but for me growing up, it was all about playing Duck Hunt, so... If you don't know how to do this, you take the gun, you shoot it, you pay, face it away from the screen, and you shoot. So when you go to select, so just go down. I'm gonna shoot two gun, two dogs. I'm just gonna aim off the screen. See, it goes to two, and then to select, you just shoot the screen. So back in the day, this was my jam. Okay, so guys, I, I hope this uh, this video has helped. Um, Got to tell you, uh, this one, uh, this this TV uh, performs really well. It's a pretty good brand. Um, uh, hopefully, if you're doing some analysis on different TVs that you're looking at, uh, this gives you some uh, information on uh, which one you want to go with. So uh, please let me know if you have any questions.